My name is Chris Bigginhoe, and I'm the Director of Educational Technology at Green Hill School in Dallas. I think teaching is a, uh, in a blended mode, or online even, uh, if approached from a perspective of changing their practice, if they simply take what they do in class and move it into that uh, online environment, that uh, perhaps not much change occurs there. But when a, a teacher reevaluates what they do and they change that because they're going into this online environment, oftentimes their classroom teaching improves. Um, they have acquired new, new techniques and skills that they'll flow over. And we've actually seen this. Uh, we've got a couple of teachers who actually uh, teach with the Global Online Academy. And, uh, and, and they've actually commented about how, they're, how they've actually changed their practice in the classroom, in the traditional classroom, because of their experience of teaching online. So the more teachers experience and, and play with new ways of teaching and learning, if they allow it to change their practice, um, it'll improve everything that they do in, in that teaching environment. Uh, I would say, uh, first, don't, don't go it alone. Uh, other people have walked this path before you. Um, and, and learn from others. Uh, a lot of this is, you know, shows up in articles, uh, in the literature. It's been boiled down in other places by practitioners who, who have then uh, sh shown what they have done. You, you have some, some support groups to, to lean on and you get support also then from the school to, to make sure that, uh, that you have the freedom to, to explore. One of the things that I, I think schools uh, struggle with at times and, and uh, for various reasons is uh, failure is generally not an option and uh, and you know what parent wants to hear that they're you know they they're paying large tuitions for a program that's not not working for them at least they perceive it to be failing yet yet that's how we, we come to new do and know new things is to to explore uh, we have to uh, to allow ourselves to experiment a bit and sometimes it doesn't work out but in the end if we keep at it and we learn from it it's iterative and if we learn from it uh, things will be better and so I think it's, it's if you're gonna do it you need to do it in a group <laughs>